This is a, a dramatic and critical moment, and we hear stories of people who, a gentleman I sat in his home and talked to him about how he lost his home, how he lost one of his sons in the violence, how the Azad, Assad regime was targeting his children, and it wasn't until that targeting that he decided he would leave and come here for safety and security. These are tragic human stories, and I'm proud on behalf of our administration, our government, and, and the American people that at times of tragedy, we step up and do everything we can. There are potentially two and a half million people inside Syria that are either displaced or in critical need of humanitarian support. The United States has provided significant support, $200 million worth of support inside and in neighboring uh, countries of Syria. That support is yielding real results. We've actually seen more than 300,000 patients in Syria in hospitals and uh, field hospitals that have been set up conducting more than 11,000 life-saving surgeries. We have reached more than a million, 1.2 million people through the World Food Program with food and basic supplies inside of Syria. And as winter sets in, we are setting a target of reaching 400,000 Syrian families with winterization kits to protect them and help them stay in their communities. Uh, in addition, we'll expand efforts for local Syrian committees to communicate with their uh, populations and offer them a measure of visibility and confidence in their future. And similarly, we're working aggressively with Turkey, with Jordan, with Lebanon, e even in Iraq, to make sure we're protecting Syrian refugees, providing them basic support as we saw today in the camp here. President Obama and Secretary Clinton have asked us to have a very strong humanitarian response to the crisis both inside of Syria and in refugee communities in countries surrounding Syria. Turkey has been an incredible host to displaced Syrians, providing uh, an extraordinarily high level of services up to this time. Uh, but they're all feeling significant pressure and we want to be with them as a partner and a friend, uh, both providing for services here and supporting their continued open door policy for Syrians fleeing the brutality of the Assad regime.